You're here with the Closet Doctor, and today we're going to talk about taking out builder grade wooden shelving uh, for your closet installation. Now, uh, a lot of builders, uh, trim carpenters, will put this in. They do. They do. A, they put a whole bunch of nails in here, and sometimes these shelves are just nailed in and painted. And sometimes, like in this scenario here, you can see nice that there's a there's a bevel there. This has been heavily caulked. And so is what will happen sometimes when we take this out, when this shelf gets lifted up, that that caulk will attach and actually rip the paper on the drywall. We want to do the least amount of damage. So is what we're going to do is we're going to take a razor knife, a nice and sharp razor knife, and we're going to score all of these shelves. We're just going to run it down, run it down on a 45. I come down on the bottom here and I run that across right there. I'm going to go on the top of the shelf and do the same thing. And we're just gonna cut that caulk so when we come out, that if it's gonna rip, it'll rip there at that line. So I'm gonna go ahead and score all of this and then we'll come back and we'll talk about taking the shelves out. And we've scored all of the areas where panels meet the wall. So we got our sheetrock here, we got our panel here, we ran our score in there. You can see the caulk all the way up across the top here as well. Anywhere that we've got material touching the wall, we wanna score that line a little bit. Now is what we're gonna do. And you gotta check up top. This one here was called top and bottom all the way down. And so we've got everything uh, scored. Now we're gonna move on to the fun stuff and we're gonna use a special tool for taking stuff out. Okay, we're gonna deconstruct this. I want to, I'm gonna take this top shelf out, I'm gonna take this one out, and then I'm gonna knock this panel this way, and that'll make it easier to take these shelves out. So you need your special tool, and just know that it's gonna be a little bit loud when you're in here, and you want to, as we, as we lift this side up off the wall, we wanna keep it flat. When we start turning and getting angles, we make a mess on stuff, and so we're just gonna, we're going to start tapping on this side and lift it up and pull it out. Just so you know, if you're trying to save this for your brother-in-law because he wants to put them in his, his closet, it's not going to work most of the time. This stuff is going to get all broken and damaged and go into the garbage can. So we're, and we got a lot of caulk in this corner here and so it's kind of sticking. and nails in it and then we're just going to bend it and pull it out so we got one shelf out there and so you can see like in this particular one it came apart where we scored it but it also peeled it and then we're going to come in and peel it off but we'll, we'll get to that in a second and then the next one we're going to hit this top one side pieces here let's come here this is what I like to do first off when you're praying on this you got to be careful because you don't want to punch a hole in it with the sheetrock and the other thing I want to loosen it up you've been seeing these sometimes that are glued down and so I'm just going to hit down like that that's going to loosen it up and now I can come in and take my nails out normally the back one has been put in first and the side one's there, so you want to just look at that and come out in the same order that they, they're the reverse order what they went in. And we don't want to, we want to eliminate doing, reduce the amount of damage that we do to the wall. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, take the rest of these out and then we'll work on this side. So now we've got all this cleat out over here is what we're going to do to make these ones easier to come out. We're going to take this one and we're going to pound it this way. We're going to work our way top and bottom and then we're just going to give it a little. And as we're doing this, we want to go slow 
and make sure you kind of feel it sometimes if you get stuff that's catching or anything like that, come in and we'll cut it or pull it apart and then pull it straight out off the wall. Boom, got that. And then we're just gonna repeat the process for these shelves. finish it up and then we'll talk about cleaning up the cult. So now we have everything all torn out. You can see most of the places it came at, the cult it came out where we cut that line. Sometimes it ripped, but not too bad. And so now we're just gonna clean it up and get rid of the patch of paint. We're gonna take a putty knife and we're just gonna run that along there. And we're just gonna peel that cult. And we wanna keep the knife flat. See here, is this flat? All we're doing is we're peeling that caulk out without taking a whole bunch of the paint or any texture or anything like that. So we just want it nice and clean. Go up like that. Want to minimize all the damage that we're going to do. And in this scenario, I got a tile floor. If you had a carpet floor, I probably should have told you this earlier. Put a blanket or a sheet down, drop cloth so that all of this mess doesn't get in your, your carpet. But we're just gonna clean all this up. I've got a couple extra nails in here that I'm gonna make sure that I pull out. And I'm just running my, my putty knife along here, cutting this out smooth. Get some extra nails that got put in there. If you can't get them out, we're just gonna go ahead and on these particular ones, we're gonna tap those in flush and uh, get it ready for paint. Okay, so we've got, uh, like in here, we've got nails that are just barely sticking out. The the finished nail guy, he, he put those in and missed the shelf, and I don't know what he was doing there, but that's why we're tearing it out. So one, we can, we can pull these out and just lift them out like that. You wanna avoid, like this one here, a lot of people, what they wanna do is they'll come in and get it, and they wanna pull it out, and we want it to go back in the same angle that it came out so it doesn't do any damage. These ones that are in tight right here, we're just gonna tap them in plus. Just so that we can't feel them anymore. These ones, if they're sticking out, we're gonna go ahead and grab them, and we don't want anything sticking out when we're painting. We've got all of the uh, the shelves taken out now, and we is what we've done is there's some areas that our our system is going to go up and cover. We didn't put a whole lot of time and effort into that, but what's exposed, we went ahead and we spackled in. You can kind of see here we filled in the holes, just a little bit of spackle. We're going to touch the paint up now. One thing when you do it like this, realize that it's this isn't going to disappear 100%. Um, it's still you're going to still see this a little bit. We're going to paint it all the same color, then we're going to put a bunch of clothes in it. And for 96.5% of the people out there, this will be fine. If you want, uh, you don't ever want to see anything there again, you either need to come in and retexture or uh, put a lot more time and effort into it, do a full day job. We've got a guy that will come in and do that stuff for our customers. Well, he'll retexture it and make it not even show. You won't even know that there was anything there. But for this situation, this is a guest closet in a, one of our vacation homes that we stay in a lot. This is the closet that we use all the time. And so we wanted a nice system in here, but it's not that important to us. The other thing is if you're thinking about changing colors in here and you wanna go dazzling purple, now is the time to paint it the whole closet when you don't have anything in here, as opposed to after our system has been installed. We've got everything all installed now. And as you can see, it's very, very difficult to see where that previous shelving was. It looks really nice. We just touched up the paint in the area that was in. Got a few spots. If you really stand back and look at it, you can go, oh yeah, something was there. But when we get this all done, put some clothes in there, you're never gonna know uh, that that shelving was, was there.